Hello, and welcome to C4CW, casting 495 celebrities worldwide. I am the host of this show, One Sir Grove, and I welcome you. If you are true fans of the show, then I, we, 495L4, as a whole network organization, we appreciate you. Yes, we fucking do. And I mean that sincerely and genuinely. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I was wrong. It is not cold. And here we are in November. Today is what? 7 November 2022. So what would that be? 7 November. So it's 11. 7. 2. 2. 1. 1. 0. 7. 2. 2. Motherfucking star date. And, uh, in any freaking way, oh, stuff is popping up on the phone. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I was wrong uh, in my, uh, estimation of it being a, uh, a cold winter sooner than later. This is fucking crazy, man. It is almost Christmas and it fucking like... I have long pants. I should probably be wearing shorts. Other people are. And uh, I have a t-shirt on. And um, I'm not one to be offensive. So I don't want to offend anyone when I say the following. But for those of you who who have heard of an Indian summer, I don't know that that's what this is. Um, Because first of all, it's not the summer. But I don't necessarily know exactly what Indian summer means. Someone just said it the other day. I mean, I looked it up a long time ago and I saw the definition, but I don't currently have the definition in my memory banks that is like in my foreground of my mind. It's just stored somewhere subconsciously. I could look it up. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me do that. Let me look it up and see what the fuck it means. Let's see if it's in any way congruent with what is currently in the in summer. Meaning... All right, it's a summer. It's a, this is Wikipedia. An Indian summer is a period of unseasonably warm, dry weather that sometimes occurs in autumn in temperate regions of the northern hemisphere. Again, an Indian summer is a period of unseasonably warm, dry weather that sometimes occurs in autumn in temperate regions of the northern hemisphere. And again, that's from Wikipedia. So, I would say, if if y'all heard that, because sometimes, I don't know, this software that I use for the podcast is weird. Sometimes it cuts off when I go and look shit up on the internet. Anyway, I don't know if y'all heard that about the Indian summer being an unseasonably warm part of the year. I just wikied it, just looked it up on Wikipedia, Googled it, brought up the wiki on it. But that is exactly what is happening right now, because it is the autumn, fall, and, uh... Man, it feels like it is summer, and it's very odd because uh, for the past years, at least two, excuse me, I just belched, the last, the, the past two years, as I recall very clearly, when we hit November, boom, it was cold as fuck. And now, it's not cold at all. It's warm. I've got my um, back turned to the sun. And the sun is booming. It's like beaming down on my back. And uh, it just doesn't feel right, man. I mean, it's warm outside. And I can see how some people would like it because it feels like you're at the beach. But there's like no breeze. I mean, there's a slight breeze. But it's like, fuck, dude. Where the fuck is the cold? We had a really fucked up summer with a lot of heat and a lot of humidity. It's like, this shit should be out of here by now, but it's not. So, I mean, it looks beautiful. The leaves are falling. It looks clearly like it is autumn. I mean, that's the way the landscape looks, but it doesn't feel that way. So it needs to cool down because the heat shit is stupid. The heat shit is really fucking stupid. And again, I stand corrected because I had estimated that based on the past two years that it would be cold by now, and it is not. So keep that in mind if you're, like, keeping an almanac of your own. 
you're writing shit down in a log and you're just like, okay, last year at this time, and then you're looking it up to see like how accurate it is, it doesn't matter fucking what happened last year. Apparently, this is some new shit. So I'm just saying cycles of Mother Earth, Gaia, nature, nurture. That's what I call it, Mother Earth, Gaia, nature, nurture. Um, that's just my long winded way of like stringing all the different concepts together. You got mother nature, which is mother earth, which is the same as Gaia and then mothers nurture their children. So anyway, and it's nature, naturally speaking, I'm just being wordy. That's all. Um, but yeah, I wish this fucking stupid ass heat would go away now. It has been, because we have listeners in 50 plus countries, that is 5-0 with the plus sign after it. We have listeners in more than 50 countries, and my music has been distributed in over 140 countries on the planet. Thank you. I say that humbly. In my humbleness, um, my humility, (laughs) um, again, I'm just being wordy, uh, I'm not humiliated, I'm just being humble. Uh, Yeah, some people want to know, you know, what the weather's like here. So I know some people are like, dude, why do you start with the weather? Like, who gives a fuck about the weather, Grove? Well, some people do. We have a lot of listeners from India. Shout outs to India. I mean, honestly, India's been one of the top listening countries for a lot of years. (laughs) Well, we've only been on for, this is the third year. But yeah, India has a sizable population and there are thousands of listeners from India. So, you know, that being said, and then of course all the other countries, 50 plus countries, again said, stated humbly. Some people, man, see right here where I am, this is a cool breeze, but I'm in the shade. This actually feels lovely right here. This is like a cool breeze. Um, But where I was on the other side of the, like, metropolitan area, coming around the corner on foot, um, it was like, it wasn't blazing, but it was, it was, it was too warm for me. It's just, it wasn't, it wasn't cool like it is right now. So I'm over in the shade and this is, this is nice. Um, But what I was going to say was some people, they just want to know, man, because, You know, they don't want to watch CNN and Fox News and they don't want to believe bullshit. You know, Western fucking media hype shit. They want to know the truth from folks like me who are on the ground, eyes on the ground, and I'm speaking the truth. No filter, okay? No fucking government disinformation, misinformation, propaganda shit. They don't want that. They just want the skinny. They want the skinny. For those who don't know what skinny means, because we do have listeners who their very first language, their native language is not English, and it is not their second or third or even fourth language. Some people, they speak more than four. And English isn't the fourth. It might be the fifth. The point is that um, the, uh, oh, the skinny... I know a lot of you English speakers that were, you know, English is your first language. You're like, girl, if I know what skinny is. Okay, well, I'm not talking to you. Okay? I'm being polite. I'm talking to other folks. I am talking to you, but I'm explaining this to folks who listen to this show because they are learning English. That's another thing. Some people don't know this, but you ought to know this. And that's why I'm sharing this with you now. Some people listen to the show because they want to learn English and they want to hear the slang They want to hear the colloquial, non-standard English. And I was an English teacher, instructor, in a reputable academy, a private school, for approximately 10 fucking years. English, honor, student, college, and then taught English. So, people listen in, and they listen to me fucking use the slang and the lingua franca, i.e. lingo. Um, You know, the jargon, the terminology, all the street shit, ebonics. And, uh, point being is that some people, man, they're just like, I don't trust Western media. They're lying to people about shit, which is true. They are correct that that the Western media is absolutely a government psyop. 
both the left and the right, they are owned by the same entity, which is the United States government. And the media is totally controlled and manipulated by the U.S. government. So, <clears throat> since I'm not controlled in that way, I just tell the truth. And that is what the skinny is. The skinny is just the like, like skin it down, man, to the basic bare necessities, man. The bare essentials, growth. What, like, fuck all the hype shit, man, and the convoluted information, bro. What's just the skinny shit, bro? Tell us the skinny. I give you the skinny. Well, I'm not here to say global climate change because I'm not, you know, part of the fucking cult the climate cult but the ecosystem is definitely shifting I'll say that I'm not going to use the buzzwords of the motherfucking commies I'm not going to use the communist fucking propaganda lingo oh, the global climate change um, you mean mother earth and it's natural her natural cycles of like changing over eons of fucking time they make it seem like it's some fucking new thing the the the, the global the the climate the globe is changing grove really you don't say motherfucker and then they ask and then they then they try to see if you're part of the commie system i don't know if you guys have ever seen fucking um Star Trek, but I'm a Trekker, Trekkie, I don't know which one it is now, you're probably like, well, if you're one of them, then you fucking want to know, well, I don't remember, I think it used to be Star Trekker, or Trekkies, but now it's Trekker, whatever the fucking shit is, I'm not that much of a fucking Trekker or Trekkie to know, but I'm pretty fucking well informed on other levels of Star Trek, needless to fucking say, which I just did, and I know that's contradictory, Needless to say, but then you say it anyway. It's like, what, then why are you saying needless to say? It's like, if it's neat, if if you needn't say it, then why are you gonna say it? I always wondered why there was a fucking expression. Needless to say, and then I'm gonna say something. Um, but anyway, Star Trek, the Borg. Do you guys know about the Borg? They are very dangerous and evil. They are a malevolent fucking entity. For those who do not know what the Borg is, Bravo. Oscar Romeo Gulf, B O R G, the second letter of the English alphabet, as in B Bravo, O R G, the Borg. They are a totally tyrannical, fucking hive mind entity where all of the fucking the humanoids, they're all fucking one mind, and they don't. Uh, well, one of them. Sometimes they communicate in English. But um, that's because they took Jean-Luc Picard, and uh, who's captain, um, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. They took the captain of um, the uh, Star Trek. They took the the commander, is what I meant to say. They took the fucking commander. Well, he's captain, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. They took him, he is in command of the fucking, what is it, is it USS Enterprise? Some shit like that. I know you're like, dude, you just said that you're a Trekker. I can't fucking remember, dude, I'm getting old. And uh, I know that, like, there's DS9, Deep Space Nine, and I don't think they're always on the Enterprise, but yes, they're on the fucking Enterprise. I'm just, I just had to check myself. I'm like, yo, come on, Grove, of course it's the fucking USS Enterprise, I think. But, um, because they have different starships, man. Star Trek's been going on forever, and some people believe that it's actually a real thing, and that it's uh, the government desensitizing us to what we're actually doing in space. Do I believe that there's a USS Enterprise? Well, there is a starship that's being made to traverse time space, and it's called the IXS Enterprise, and it's uh, been created by Eagle Works Propulsion, uh, Advanced Propulsion, at NASA, CIA, DARPA. Oh yeah, look it up, IXS Enterprise. Huh, kind of looks like the fucking USS Enterprise. So anyway, art imitates life. Okay, I'm not here to school anyone. Art imitates life. So, the point is, is that the Borg, the Borg are evil motherfuckers, man, and they're just, it's, it's, it's all these humanoids that are connected, like, neurally linked. Their brains are all linked, and they're cyborgs. They have, like, fucking implant shit, like, into their fucking... Cerebral cortex or some shit Neocortex I, I, I'm not a brain surgeon But anyway They got shit jacked into their fucking brains 
and like they got the eye thing going on where there's like some type of optical thing over the eye ball and uh they're in some type of like uniform thing and they're all controlled by like one central computer system and they're all one thought like they don't have individualism there is none they can't think for themselves because they're they're a hive like a beehive and they're known as the borg so the real world borg are the fucking commies and They'll ask you questions to see if you're in on the Borg and part of it. They'll be like, so how do you feel about global climate change? See, I had a company man for about eight years. It was 7.6, close enough. Damn near eight fucking years. I ran a transportation company and I had nearly 20,000 customers. So it was something like 19,600 and so many and anyway, so I had a lot of conversations with nearly 20,000 fucking different people. Uh, a lot of high-ranking government officials. This is before I moved my business to New York here in the greater metropolitan area. I had worked in the D.C. area. And uh, so I met a lot of government officials. A lot. I, I mean, I've met fucking diplomats. Just like crazy shit, man. Fucking people in all kinds of government agencies and whatnot. And I also worked in government at government agencies. The transportation company was a side gig. And the point is, it was lucrative at some point, and it paid a lot of money. And then in the last, like, fucking couple of years, with the COVID-19 shit, it just fell off. Yeah. And I got the PPP. I got the PPP, the payroll protection plan, program shit. I got that two times in a row because, well, I earned it and I deserved it. And my company business met the criteria for it. And, uh, I mean, they had to compensate me because my fucking business more or less got wiped out. I mean, I quit the shit. I, I shut my business down because it was no longer fucking generating capital because of the fucking lockdown shit. They fucking locked down the United States. And so I was like, man, these are pieces of shit fucking bureaucrats who have done this shit. So the government had to fucking reimburse me. So they gave me the money two times in a row. So the point is I jumped that ship. And uh, started my own real estate company because I had been a licensed real estate agent for nearly five years as well. So I've run a lot of different business enterprises. And one of the things that people will ask you is they'll try to like figure out if you're part of their cult. They'll be like, so the global climate change, um, how do you feel about it? And I'm like, oh, you want to see if I'm a climate denier, right? Uh um, let me see. And I'm not going to tell them that, but I'm, I mean, of course, that's what they're trying to figure out. And uh, because I had this liberal girlfriend, um, very dear, um, and a uh, friend, like 13 years. She's very liberal. Um, anyway, the point is that, uh, you know, she would ask the same type of shit. And I'm like, are you fucking serious, man? She knows clearly that I'm conservative, and so she was always fucking with me like that. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? You're bringing that shit up again? I'm not part of the cult. So she would, um, you know, so that's what, that's what, the, that's what the cultists do. They try to, they try to rope-a-dope you into the fucking climate change shit. And I'm like, all right, okay, so are you talking about actual science? Because the science that you're speaking of is pseudo-science. It's, it's actually not, it's not science. It's, it's fake and artificial, and it's completely fabricated and manufactured. There is no such fucking thing that you're referring to. Now, are you talking about the natural cycles of Mother Earth? Because they've been happening since the Earth formed. So, uh, global climate change is not a new thing. It's literally been fucking happening for eons. Uh, billions of years, actually. And, um, and eons falls into that equation. So, since day one... Uh, there has been a cyclic um, process, in other words, um, cycles of Mother Earth. So what are you panicking about and what is all the um, hysteria about? Oh man, what are you talking to? You so, so you, don't, you don't believe in global climate change? And I'm like, I just told you it's been happening since the Earth was formed. What the fuck are you talking about, motherfucker? I'm not part of your goddamn fucking cult. Shut the fuck up. You're hella stupid, dude. 
You want me to believe that global climate change is a new thing and it's a pressing matter? And oh my god, the sky's falling? Oh yeah, oh my god, that's so scary. So what do I do? Do I contribute money to your fucking Democrat party? Oh yeah, okay. How much money do you guys need to fix the problem? Oh, you're gonna stop Mother Earth cycle from fucking happening? They're so fucking dumb, man. They make this shit up. It's a sham. And they can't talk real science with you when you break it down to them and you're like, uh, okay, dude, so, right, mm-mm, global climate, air quotes, change, what about it? I mean, they're like, but the earth is getting warmer, and I'm like, right, and it's getting colder, too, did you know that? Did you know that that's actually also a fucking fact of science, dude? It's also getting colder on the average, and at some point, it'll be a ball of ice again. They don't get that part, man. They don't know about the brownout shit. They don't understand that heating and contraction, I'm sorry, heating and contraction, okay? So heating, contraction, tug of war, back and forth. At some point, the earth, it browns out, man. And the heat, it cools down. And we go through a mini ice age. Yeah, they don't want you to know about the mini ice age. You know why? Because you gotta know that it's global warming. (laughs) Global warming? Yeah, that's what Mother Nature's been doing for billions of years. So what's your fucking point? It's been happening, motherfucker, for billions of years. It is not a new phenomenon. Hello? Wake up, you fucking cultist. That's the thing, man, is they try to trick you, dude, into thinking they're bullshit. They want to make you part of the Borg, so you go around and you speak the script that they've been programmed to speak, which is totally fucking bogus science, air quotes, not even fucking real, and, uh, well, no air quotes there, but you get my point. So, yeah... Yep, the Earth is doing what it's always done! (laughs) Fucking cuckoo ass motherfuckers. So, yeah, just tell them that when they're like, oh, dude, so how do you feel about global warming, global climate change? Just be like, well, the Earth has been doing what it's been doing for billions of fucking years, dude! Yeah, they, they want you to believe that it's doing something different that it has never done previously. And that is literally just not the fucking reality of it all. The earth is literally just doing what it has always fucking done. And it will continue to do so. But of course, they don't want you to know that. So, yeah. In fact, I read and have heard from reputable notable uh, scientists uh, like myself that um, in certain parts of the world there are going to be uh, colder weather conditions than in the past like hundred years and uh, those cold place those places that are already cold they will start to see even colder weather and like for example severe Ice storms. Oh, don't tell the left that. They don't want to hear that. The left doesn't want to fucking hear about the severe ice storms because in their in their worldview of the Borg that they are, it all has to be about warming. See, that's their script. You got to fucking, if you're part of their bullshit communist fucking apparatus, you have, you have to know that, that it's all about global warming. And you can't have a conversation with them because they're programmed to believe utter nonsense, bullshit. And you can't get a fucking word in with them. You can't even show them the evidence. I don't want to see you, you, and then they'll say this. You Trump supporters are all the same. It's kind of funny. Just put a fucking mirror up to them. Just pull out a little pocket mirror and be like, really? Huh, we're all the same? Borg. You fucking Borg. Yeah. We're all the same? Oh, we're the cult? (laughs) <laughs> That's funny how you project what you are unto us. Yeah, they want for people to believe that we're the cult, you know, because we believe in like normal shit, like there are only two genders on the planet, you know, because that's in the science book. Oh no, 
oh no, we're racist and misogynistic and we're um, transphobic because we believe in the old way of information, which was that there are only two genders and now we're cultists because we believe the fucking two gender science of the old days. So now we're the cultists. They're, they're so fucking stupid, man. And uh, they want you to believe that everything that you've learned in school for all of the hundreds of millions and billions of fucking years that the planet has been here, all of a sudden, last year, it's all changed. Oh, yeah, it changed last year. You know why? Because they woke. Yeah, they awoke. They woke up. <laughs> they were awakened. And uh, now... Uh, these fucking teenagers and young adults, they're telling us how to use our language (laughs) because they know the fucking truth in air quotes. Yeah. Did you know that there are 56 different fucking genders? There aren't two. No, man. You guys are fucking crazy if you believe that there are only two fucking genders. There's a whole new system of science. Yeah. Because they figured it out uh, in the year 2020. Yeah, in their fucking sleep, in their dreams, they figured it out. Oh, and did you know what? Now you have to use a whole new set of fucking language, too. doesn't matter the university, how prestigious or less prestigious. It doesn't matter what fucking college or university you, where you earned a degree. Guess what? There's a new language system, and you better fucking know about it, man. Because they created it in 2020. Yeah. You gotta refer to them with the pronouns. Huh? Oh, hi, thems. Uh, how you doing, theirs? Yeah, that shit's so fucking stupid, man. And I'm not gonna follow that shit because I'm not part of the fucking cult. Fucking tup, tui. I'm not part of that bullshit, man. I'm not fucking playing that shit. Yeah. Oh, does that make me transphobic because I want to use normal language that everybody learned on this planet until it was changed in 2020? Does that make me a transphobe or whatever other fucking stupid fucking words they're going to make up that don't exist in the English goddamn fucking Merriam Webster Oxford dictionaries and shit? Yeah. Don't fucking tell me what to say. I'll say whatever the fuck I want to say. It's called a free country. It's the United States. But you see, they don't want for it to be a free country. They want it to be Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Where little kids, their their birth gender gets changed when they're fucking born by some doctor with some type of science. Yeah. You know why? Because the woke culture, they uh, figured out that babies don't want to be the gender that they're born. Yeah, so now there's a doctor that's going to give them some medicine, a pill, a process, uh, some type of medical procedure, and turn them into the other gender. Uh, Well, one of 56 different genders. That's how fucking dumb these motherfucking people are. They're literally insane. They're literally, they've gone full on pure fucking lunacy. They want to teach little kids about sex when they're fucking born. Yeah, did you see this thing on TV where they were doing this, um, what was that shit on Fox News that I saw? They have, uh, they have, what are they called? What are the cross-dressers? The men that dress up like women? We used to call that cross-dressing, and I don't know what it's called now because, you know, there's a whole new set of language that people have created where if you say the old shit that was normal, like the things that you would normally say in the past, now they're all offensive words, so what are they not cross-dressers anymore? What are they called? The men that wear the fucking girl, the women's clothes. So they have these kids, and there are these men that wear women's clothes, and they're sexualizing these children at these events. And the parents take them to these events, and then the male, the, the, the male dressed as a woman is sexually dancing, like, like you know, like strip basically like strippers would strip like strip tees where they don't actually take off any fucking clothes but they're abusing these fucking kids dude and they're mentally they're they're savagely mentally fucking with these kids and trying to teach them sexual things when they are merely children that is not sex education and it doesn't happen at that time in the children's lives we didn't learn that shit until we were in i think fifth grade it was fifth grade Okay, 
So they're doing that type of shit to really small children, and that's a fucking sex crime. It's fucking evil, and it's a sex crime. It's evil, and it's a sex crime. I don't give a fuck what any of these people say. And it's all part of their leftist agenda. They're all, they're, they're all, they all think that this is the shit that needs to happen. They need to have children learning this shit. They need to give children the ability to change their fucking gender when they're born, like, like at a very young age. I know for some of you in different parts of the globe where you don't see actual Western fucking media the way that we see it because your respective governments have our shit blocked and all that shit because it's all controlled, right? You don't see everything that we see in the West. You don't hear everything that we hear on our local radio stations, local television stations. Yes, you can tune into it, obviously, but for the most part, a lot of you in different countries, you have your own stations that you listen to and you're not on the average listening to and seeing what we listen to and what we see here you might tune in every once in a while but for the most part you don't so because you're preoccupied with your local media so my point is is this this is what they're doing in the united states of america they're trying to turn it into some type of fucking babylonian sodom and gomorrah type shit right out of the old fucking right out of the bible and they're trying to just make this shit lawless and fucking anarchy In fact, in Chicago and other cities, they're trying to uh, pass laws where criminals don't even need any fucking money to get out of fucking jail for anything. They can just go and commit the most heinous crimes, and then there's no there's no monetary bail. There's no there's not a dollar that they have to pay. They just get right fucking back out of fucking jail. They might get arrested, and then after they get arrested, they literally just get out of fucking jail it's a revolving door because insane people want to put the criminals back on the fucking streets you see and that's that's their whole plot is to turn america into this barbaric savage place where there is no real law where children are fucking sexually abused by these adults fucking reptiles and shit serpentine motherfucking demons and uh evil wicked people and they just want to turn it into some type of fucking, some, some shit out of, out of Babylon, out of ancient fucking Babylon. That's their goal. And they call it the Democrat, liberal, Marxist, communist party. And they're happy to be part of it because they're woke. And it's, and, and it's fun for them. And hey, look at the rainbow with the black stripe. Come on, dude. Are you fucking serious? First of all, okay, so I don't know if you guys are hip to this. So the whole rainbow thing, right? I know you're probably like, dude, are you trying to be offensive toward the gay pride community? No, I'm not at all. I'm talking about fucking real science here. So, um, have you guys ever seen a rainbow? Right. You have, right? Because you're humans and and everybody on planet Earth has seen a rainbow at some point, right? Uh, I guess in some instances, depending on where someone lives in the world... That person hasn't seen a rainbow. Just like I met someone once. I can't remember what country she was from. I think it was, uh, I want to say Japan. I had Japanese roommates when I was in college. But it was some country like that. And uh, she had never, I know Hokkaido is to the north and it's cold. But where she was, where she happened to be at the time, uh, she was in a part where there was no snow. And she had never seen snow in her lifetime. Like she had never seen snow. And that's not, that's not unusual, you know, but my point is that some people, I'm just saying, statistically, have never seen a fucking rainbow. They're like, oh, yeah, where I live in this part of the world, uh, you know, uh, I just, you know, I've never seen a rainbow in my life. I've heard of them and I've seen them in like textbooks. So the point is there is no black stripe, dude. It's just non-existent. It's not, it's not real legitimate science. Again, that's what these people are doing is they're butchering the facts. They're creating fraud. They're, they're frauds because they have taken, they have to listen. Here's, here's what I'm trying to explain. I, that, that was the lead up. That was the prelude to what I'm about to say. So now they have the fucking rainbow and they put a black band in with the other colors. Okay which negates the rainbow. But they don't think so. They're doing that because it's Black Lives Matter and they want to put a fucking black stripe on a rainbow. That's some fucking retarded shit. That just doesn't even make any fucking sense. And that's the type of stupid shit these people are doing. 